Hey everybody, this is uh, Charlie the Pennsylvania Grain Farmer coming to you from uh, sunny western Pennsylvania. Today is Saturday, July the 30th and uh, our project today is to uh, harvest some oats. I spent some time the last couple days getting the combine ready, getting everything greased, uh, changing the settings from uh, corn to oats and also putting the uh, rigid grain head on. I have a uh, corn head, I have a flex head, and I have a rigid grain head, so the rigid grain head is the one that's on for oats. Um, I'm using my 4400 combine, which you've seen in other uh, videos, and I'm really excited to see how my work on the, uh, the radiator is going to pay off, whether the engine is going to uh, stay cool, uh, like hope it will. Uh, the combine I know you've seen before, but I don't think you've seen this head. Uh, this is a really, uh, I guess you could say, an ancient head. Uh, a lot of people think they have an old one when they have a, a 213, a model, a John Deere Model 213. This is the predecessor to that. They called this simply the Quick Tatch Head. Uh, some people refer to it as the 100 series. Uh, you know kind of informally but you know technically John Deere called it the quick catch and my um, uh, uh, flex head for soybeans is basically the same thing and when you look at it you can see some differences it's a little bit cruder than the uh, than the 213 uh, rigid head is you can see that the uh, chain drive is different and also this one has a, uh, a pitman arm rather than a wobble box, so it's, uh, you know, definitely uh, an older machine. But uh, it's, uh, this head's still working, and since that's what we have, that's, that's what we're going to use. Uh, for anybody that doesn't know, the pieces of uh, drainage pipe that are here on the, the bats on the, wheel, on the reel, that's to help keep stuff from... Um, wrapping up because if you don't do that uh, because those um, bats are made of wood they will um, you know uh, things will tangle up on them and you have a mess so uh, the person the guy that owned this before me put that drainage pipe on there I've seen a lot of other people do or do that as well and uh, it really really does seem to work okay so this is our oats rig, and uh, we're going to get started with it here real soon. I'll uh, take you part way around the field. I mean, I don't see a reason for, you know, doing 20 minutes or a half an hour of that. I'll, you know, show you uh, part way around just so you get the idea, and uh, we'll also take a look at uh, unloading. Okay, so uh, we'll see you again in a minute.
Well, you've pretty much seen the whole process now. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna, if there's gonna be any unloading into the barn because the oats are really uh, turning out poorly this year. I'm not that surprised. Uh, they were planted, well, about a month later than they were last year and about two weeks later than I like them to be. And uh, in addition to that, you know, at the end of April and beginning of May, you know, we had uh, days here that were, you know, highs of 40 degrees on one day and then 70 the next, you know, and it just uh, was kind of a really crazy spring. And I don't think the, the oats got off to a really good start there. Uh, like I say, they're doing very poorly. So I may not, I may just be leaving the oats on the wagons and not even um, putting any up into the barn even though I, uh, I did set the elevator up and I don't know if you can see way in the distance there the uh, elevator going up into the bank barn but in any event this is oats uh, 2022 for better or worse uh, so far the combine is running really well um, uh, the temperature staying right where I want it to, so it appears that the work that I did last winter on the uh, on the radiator and so on uh, it seems to have paid off. All right, so uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, hit the like button and consider subscribing. And if you have already subscribed, then I say uh, thank you very much for that. And so for now, this is Charlie, the Pennsylvania grain farmer, saying see you next time.